Alrighty folks, we're back. And it's Remnants of the Precursor time. Let's see where we were in the last game. So, as you'll see, uh, I'm playing as the humans. This is a 70 star map, if I remember right. And we are currently located in the southern portion here. We've got some passive... <laughs> I was going to say passive-aggressive Alkari, and that's kind of what they are. Okay, so they're pacifistic, militaristic. So, um, I think Ray described them as... Yeah, they don't want to fight, but they will. <laughs> they, they're peaceful, but they'll fight to defend their interests. And that's, that's, a, fair uh, that's a fair assessment. So we've currently got three planets. We're about to colonize this one here, Norpin. Uh, let's just go to the expand screen, which is custom built for this. So we've now got uh, Nigala as well. This is a Jungle 75 planet. And this is it's out of our colonization range, which is why it's not coming up in uh, with a with a green cross. Now, uh, I don't know, for those who've seen my tutorial videos, or those who haven't, might not know, but this expand screen is really useful because the crosses tell you where you can expand and the color of the cross tells you exactly when uh, and what conditions you need, right? So uh, Titus here, for example, is a dead planet and it's telling us uh, system can be colonized uh, after research in controlled inferno environment so, uh, is completed. So there we go. It tells you exactly what you need in order to be able to get you know, to get to that planet. If the planet was in range and you could colonize it immediately, it would be uh, flashing in green. So this is great, especially when you've got a lot of planets. On the larger maps, these tools are really, really useful. I'll go through the explore and uh, exploit, exterminate ones as, as and when we, when we kind of need them. <clears throat> okay. So we've got a colony ship here uh, on the way to Norpin. Uh, we have got this scout that's currently floating over the Alkari's planets. I'm going to move that because even though I don't really care about the Alkari actually, um, I don't want to, I don't want to unnecessarily upset them. This might be a good time just to go into our intelligence screen. Yeah, we've got two spies on them already. Um, now, all we've seen from them militarily is this fox bat, which is... Um, just a small, it looks like a, I think this must be their, no, yeah, this is their scout look because it's got reserve fuel tanks on. I got momentarily confused because of the missile defense and beam defense ratings, but that's, that's then uh, Alkari's natural ability. They're absolutely monstrous early in the early game because of this bonus. In fact, it helps them right through the game in, in battle. It's really, it's actually an, un, it's an underrated ability. When I played as the Alkari in one of my games, I was using lots of small fighters and I gave them inertial stabilizers, which also increases your defense um, and speed. And basically it just made them untouchable. So the way that combat works just quickly is if you've got uh, an attack rating of one and your opponent has a defense rating of one, then your chance to hit them in combat with a shot is 50%. And, you know, it goes up by 10% with each difference by one. So uh, if you, you know, if, if you say I was trying to shoot the ship with, um, at the moment, my attack level will be zero, their miss, um, beam defense is, th is three. So if I'm, yeah, I, I think it's going to be like 80% 80, uh, 80 chance I'm going to miss this. It, yeah, I think it's 80% chance. So that's just, re it's, gonna, it's so hard. It's so hard to hit anything. Okay, so let's get out of here and get on with the game. So I want to check my, the status of my planets. So we're currently going into technology now. Um, I put everything into computers so that we can quickly get deep space scanner. I actually might drop that down a touch now. Uh, let's just equalize these allocations. Um, yeah, just I'm not bothered about weapons at the moment. Let's just put a little bit more into into computers. Uh, the computer tech also helps you with your re, uh, with your espionage efforts. Now I might just have a quick chat with the Alkari. Let's go to diplomacy. They're relaxed with us at the moment. Okay, let's see what we can do. No, there's not a lot. I, we, we're, we're unable to trade any techs with them. We don't have any techs. We've got nothing to trade, so that's probably why. Okay, we've got some fighters guarding Norpin, just in case the Alkari decide to get cheeky and sn sneak some ships over to colonize, colonize it before we do. Okay. Gagarin is at 72 pop and 50 factory. We'll just keep those as they are. All right. 
Oh, that's right. I built, I accidentally built some fighters too. So they're on their way to Gagarin just to just to show a little bit of force. It's actually it's wise to have some fight uh, to have some military ships because even a pacifistic nation, if they detect that you're really really weak, uh, you know they they will if they need to expand they will attack you. So you've got to show some kind of front to your opponent to at least make it look like you're not going to be a pushover. Okay, and we've got one more turn until we can colonize. And there we go. St uh, size 60 step planet. In the year 2342, the human triumvirate forms a new colony. <laughs> there he goes, look. Norpin, okay. And there we go, we've got Deep Space Scanner. Uh, this detects enemy ships up to five light years away for you, uh, from your colonies and one light year away from your ships. Uh, we'll probably start seeing some movement from the Arkari now. Um, and in, we've also got improved industrial tech, which is great news because it means that we can create our factories for cheaper. Um, now, Battle Computer Mark II. Hold on a moment. Battle Computer Mark II is still just technology level 5. Improved robotics control will take us up into tech 3. Will it? Uh, let's have a look. Oops. Yeah, um, that's, so that's level 8. So that takes us into the next tier. And the next tier will open up access to all of the other uh, technologies right across all of the fields, you see. So it's quite useful. Um, but I think for now, I might go for the ECM jammer. I know it seems a bit strange, but I'm, I actually quite like to, to be able to have more options on my combat ships. And it's only 100 research points, which is not a lot. Uh, we've got improved industrial tech 8 and Duraloy armor. I'll go for improved industrial tech 8, I think. Yeah, I will. That's probably the one to go for. And again, let's just equalize these allocations out now. So we're gonna, uh, we've got ECM jammer coming in. That's going to come pretty quickly. Um, we've got uh, deflector shields coming in. Now, the reason why the hum uh, the reason why we we didn't put much research into force fields, but we're we've, we've we're almost we've almost got class two deflector shields already. This is because every race has a has something that they're good at re uh, researching. So just go to this table, and you'll see that the racial differences in technology development. So you can see here, uh, I hope you guys can see this okay. So um, for example, the Alkari are excellent at propulsion technology, but they, they're poor in force fields. Whereas the humans are good in force fields, they're good in planetology and good in propulsion, and they don't have any weaknesses. This is one of the reasons why the humans are kind of a little bit unfair. <laughs> I think their, their, their bonus in diplomacy that they get, because they get a bonus to diplomacy, is really powerful on its own. They also have exceptionally good research bonuses too, so... Yeah, this is why kind of humans are considered one of the one of the easier one of the easier factions to play. So, um eleven percent on deflector shields. Something's changed here. What's this? Ah, okay. So the Alcar uh, we we've just started to push out our boundaries, that's it. If you just see look, we can turn off the uh we can, we can turn off these faction faction boundaries if we want. There we go. Yeah, let's get these fighters up to Skalos now. And once we've got Skalos, we can take Nagala. Wow, we I mean our we, we're not doing bad. The Alkari have got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got four. Okay, so that's not quite as good. I I can't I haven't got eyes on these worlds. Although now might be a good time just to go and jump over to a duchy and just see what it's got. Although uh, 170 factories. I think that's going to be a decent planet for them as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, we don't want to be friends with these guys. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand out as far as I can, and then before uh, try to get myself an adv an advantage in uh, in technology, and then go and then take the Alkari's planets off them, because that is going to be. I mean, if we can get all these planets, we're we're on to winning the game then no matter what's going on in the rest of the galaxy. Okay. This scout here. Yeah, there's not much we can do there, so... I just want to go through all my planets. You can actually mouse wheel through them if you click on this picture in mouse wheel. So, Norpin, Gagarin. Uh, we, we can drop our eco-spending just a touch. 
earth. While I'm at it, I'm just going to turn on... Oh yeah, we've already got the reserve tax. Okay, that's okay. Right. Let's just go on to the next year. Yeah, we're going to start getting technology relatively quickly now. Um, just thinking about it. Improved industrial tech 8. Oh yeah, we've just, we've just got uh, industrial tech 9, didn't we? Um... Just leave it as it is. So if you don't know, um, the way that Remnants of the Precursor works works a little bit differently to Master of Orion with regards to Empire tech spending. So when you, if you level out all your research points, uh, you equalize them. You actually get more research per year than you do the spending you're putting in. So if you just see, if I put everything into computing, computers, I'm getting 100, uh, 292. Um, that's my output for 280 billion credits that I'm putting in. But if you equalize it, look, you're actually getting 348. This is kind of to... So in Master of Orion, one of the one of the mechanics that it had to prevent you just kind of going like this one turn and then going like this another turn. And then uh, the reason that what, what stopped you from doing that was that there was a kind of de a, a degrading mechanic in your in your research. So if you had halfway research towards, I don't know, let's say planetology, uh, improved terraforming plus 20, and you then stopped researching that to do something else, there would you would actually lose research points in it every turn. And um, that was to kind of dissuade you from micromanagement. Actually, it kind of just made micromanagement worse. So race changed it. And now you're actually encouraged to put more research into, into the balance, uh, balanced, uh, by balancing your sliders. But you don't have to. And, you know, if you want to kind of micromanage it, you can. It's just it kind of dissuades you from doing that because you get more for your money. I like that. I think it's really good. Okay. Excuse me, guys. I'm just going to... I'm English, so I'm fueled by tea, as you've probably seen. And the British were nothing uh, in their empire building without tea, I assure you. <laughs> the British Empire was built on tea and an opium. Okay. Let's go to the next turn. Right, Gagarin's coming on nicely. I should probably build some military bases as well. Or some defensive ships of some kind. Um, yeah, we. Uh, so when you when you improve your construction tech, it actually it increases the size of, of your ships. So you can actually you can put more things on your ships. So uh, I should be able to build some slightly bigger ships now. But let's just have a look at the. Let's see what we've what's going on intelligence wise with the Alkari. Okay, so they've got 10 more sh small ships, 7 medium. We need to start keeping up with that, I think. So I'm going to put... I might do it with Troyus. I might just put some spending into some destroyers. In fact, I'm, it might be worth just making a new pattern. Let me just... Uh, let's go to the design screen. Just copy this destroyer design. There we go. And... We can put battle computers on it too. Uh, now, when you've got a choice out of computers and shields, depending on who you're fighting against, it's usually better to have shields. You want survivability for your investment, right? Um, but against the Alkari, we're going to need we're going to need computers. That's assuming that they attack us, which we're not planning on happening. But uh, you would be generally better off with better computers. So, uh, because they are ju they're just so hard to hit and uh, that would actually make our ships more survivable um yeah one nuclear missile and three lasers or i could have five uh no i don't want two i'd probably want five shots so the nuclear missiles come in two flavors like you can get two shots which give you an extra speed or you can go for the five shot version which doesn't have extra speed and it's got less range as well, um, but they they are more powerful and they have more shots. So it's your choice. I generally like to have more shots, actually. Okay, so that'll do. So 
Let's just give it a different pattern. That one will do. Okay. We'll call that uh, Destroyer 1. The reason why I'm calling that Destroyer 1, and let's just delete this, let's scrap that design. Uh, this is a trick I learned, I, f I forget it, it might have been off the developer, but I, when I'm making my designs, I put a number at the end, and it's not to do with the, the version of the model, it's to do with how far it can travel. So I, I can look at a glance when I'm in the fleet screen, how far that, that ship is going to be able to travel, because if you put something with you know like two you know, if, if one can travel two light years per turn and one can travel one they're all going to travel at the, the speed of the slowest ship in the fleet so you don't want that okay let's just crack on oh, let's get that um let's do what i'd actually intended i've just built a load of scouts that's no problem they can be used so let's just get ourselves i want some destroyers and i'm gonna send them it's a set rally point for norpin i think ah where are those transports going They won't be going for me. They've not declared war on me. Um, still anyone relaxed? Okay, so we've increased our trade treaty. You don't want to do that too often because it takes a little while before they start becoming profitable anyway, but um, no biggie. Right, so let's... Perhaps move these fighters up to Norpin. What's a space gull? I just want to see what the Al the Alcari are doing here. It's a medium sized ship. Okay. Just kind of wanted to see if they were trying to colonize anything. Okay, so we've scouted a Dachi, and it's as expected. It's a it's a Terran class world. So there's ECM Jammer Mark II. Class 2 defect shields. I definitely want Battle Computer 2 because the Alkari are just hard to hit. Personal deflector, that's for ground combat. Okay, let's move these fighters. No, no, I'm going to keep those there actually. Move this scout. Um, I did build, I built, built a bunch of scouts, didn't I? I just wonder if I can use one of those. You generally don't want to have ships sitting around that you're not using, actually, but um, having scouts can be quite useful. So let's just... Oops. Too many. Let's just move a few of these scouts just up into areas. So we just, we're just we ready, basically, to expand a little bit if we, if we, if we see an opportunity. Okay. rather have the research um, than excessive destroyers but I just want to start making some fighters uh, some combat ships just in case the Alkari do decide to get a bit above their station okay let's just oh hang on a minute I'm not going to retreat that uh, I'm going to just enter battle I'm, I forget now but there, there might be one bug in this version at the moment where if you retreat um, all uh, the, the, there's an issue. I think Ray's patching it now. Okay, let's just retreat. There we go. Yeah, the uh, the Alkari are going to be annoyed by that, actually. Yeah, we, we did lose... We lost a little bit of... of friendship with them because of this. Okay, fighters moving in. Ah, oh, I, I see what I've forgotten to do. Let's send some transports to Norpin. Uh, transports to Norpin. Let's send 20 from there, from the artifact planet. We'll send some from Troyus as well. But I'll send a big load from Troyus. And then I'll, I'll just boost them up with some transports from Earth. Okay. And then we're just going to put things back into growth. Put everything back into growth. I'm not bothered about that. I, I want to get the growth back up first. Uh, how many have we got? 60. Yeah, we don't want growth yet. We just still want factories, I think. Oh no, 120. No, that's right. We, we, we do want growth. Okay. And yeah, now this could like this, this planet here, if the Alkari have seen it and they're within range, 
they might well, and they've got good propulsion tech because of the Alkari, so it's very likely that they've got, I mean, we'll be able to look, actually. Let's just have a look at the intelligence. Oh, okay. They haven't got anything we've not got. That's interesting. Unless there's some other reason why we can't see it. But uh, yeah, uh, this might cause a problem. So I think we need to colonize this pretty quick. So as soon as Earth is done repopulating, which is going to be in the next turn or two, let's just get this down. Um, immediately, we're just going to start building a colony ship. In fact, I'm not going to do it from Earth. I'm not going to do it from Earth. I'm going to do it from... I can probably do it from Troy. Uh, no, let's do it from Gagarin. 70, what's that, 140? Yeah, we, we don't want to be putting any into growth. Let's just build some more factories first. Still got some more destroyers on the way up to Norpin. Let's just see what our relative military situation is like. Um, so we've got 17 small ships, two medium. 10, they've got 10 or 50 medium. Yeah, we need to we need to increase the we need to increase spending on military ships now. Let's get Troy just building military ships. Um, those ships aren't going to be much good actually for very long. But it it's so tempting just to not build any military ships until you get the next technology, and then you're like, ah, but I could just wait for one more technology. Ah, I could just wait for one more, but. Yeah, it's a mistake because what happens is the enemy will just attack you if you've got no ships so it's really not a good idea it okay let's send the destroyers okay so we've got the maximum number of colonists at earth and gagarin's got the maximum number of factories we just need to max out the let's just max out the uh, population at gagarin but then gagarin is going to send this uh, is going to send a colony ship up and then we'll take Ny nigala next now i'm tempted to do it now i've got a, i've just got a funny feeling they're going to try and beat me to it it's generally not smart to do this we really want more population work in these factories but uh, mind you it'll just be one more turn yeah let's just do that Let's just do that. I like this game. It's so tense. Like every decision you have to make, you have to really think about. <laughs> uh, so our Earth is building missile base. Okay, we'll just put that up to five. Um, Troyus. Uh, same with these. I like to get missile bases relatively early. It just makes you much, a much more effective, uh, an effective deterrent. So. Norpin really needs some more transport sending. I'm not going to send them from there, though. Let's just send them from Troyes again. I've been a bit slack with not sending popular, uh, transports over. Let's send some from Earth, too, just to pop, prop those back up. Okay, next turn. Uh, these destroyers are on the way now. Excellent job. Uh, yeah, they've got a scout here. Yeah, we're out of range. Um, we, what, I, I, I'm going to have to get this colony ship up as fast as possible. So let's do that. Let's just get. We'll change that to a colony ship. I don't want to build too many of these destroyers, just because they will be replaced. The sovereignty is pleased with how your people present themselves in diplomatic affairs. To show how much we value our friendship, we wish to sign a non-aggression pact, ensuring that neither of us falls prey to misinterpreting each other's intentions. No. No, I don't want a non-aggression pact with you. I wanted to attack you later. So, uh, Earth just needs a little bit into growth. There we go. Just a couple every turn. Choice is still building... Um, is still building ships. And Gagar Gagarin is now building that colony ship. Just a couple of turns. To see what else is happening. Okay. There we go. There's our colony ship. And improved eco restoration. Eliminates three units of industrial waste for a cost of one billion credits. Um, I'm going to get Control Baron next because it's so quick to come out. And I think it's just... 
it might be just worth getting this this planet here uh, or just orc debt okay so let's get this colony ship up to Skalos We might have to build a few fighters just to let's just, um, let's just clear this rally point fleet screen stop all rallies there we go and uh, yeah we've just undeploy this destroyer and we'll move it to or orc debt I want to I want to get this planet clear just so that we can we don't want any Alkari sitting on it Uh, how long is it going to take this colony ship to get there? Five years. Wow. Okay. We don't want to be building any more colony ships with that planet. This planet now wants to start making technology. Because look. Look how many research points we're getting from this uh, artifact planet. 418 rows. Even when Earth is doing its best, it's only getting half that. So you'll just see how, how impressive it is that when you get one of these artifact planets. How quickly you can start producing the technology. Like if I was the Alkari now, I'd be like, ah, I need to take that planet. Speaking of which, I'm just make sure that we are not missing anything nice. See, that planet here is an amazing planet. That's a, a fertile Terran planet, size 95. Um, we want that. <laughs> I really want that planet. They've not got any missile bases yet either. Okay. How close are we to Gatling Laser? Not that close. I'm going to drop our spending in force fields because we're good there. And planetology and put it into weapons and um, I want to see if we can start making some decent combat ships now because at some point soon I want to go to war okay so we've met a hostile Alkari fleet uh, it's just to go into the battle kind of interested to see what this thing's got on it Uh, some kind of beam laser. Well, let's uh, let's just retreat anyway. Okay, so they just chased us off this this uh, this this system here, so we didn't get eyes on it, unfortunately. Two more turns, is that? Oh no, that's the destroyer. Uh, we have got four years until we get to that colony. Yeah, the Alkari look like they're actually building up there. They've got eleven small ships, twenty medium. We've got 17 small and 8 medium, yeah. This is a bit worrying. We're not going to be able to take the Alkari in a straight fight. They are way better than us. Norpin, okay. We just still need to be pushing out. We need to be pushing out um, factories there. Earth definitely wants to be making technology. I might actually start building some more ships. Yeah, I might just build some chaffy fighters. That being said, though, we've got Gatling Laser coming soon, so no, I'll, I'll leave the fighters for now. So leave it one more turn. There we go, there's Gatling Laser. I'm not sure if I can fit those on a fighter, actually. They might have to go on a medium ship. Uh, fusion bombs, anti missile rockets. I'm not going to use those. I didn't see the Alkari using missiles yet. Let's go for fusion bombs. They are really, really powerful for taking out colonies, and they get through. Um, taking out missile bases it's a, a critical early game tech that one um, so let me see what I can build with regards to this uh, Gatling Gatling laser sh oops that's not what I want let's just go to Gatling laser and see how many I can put on a medium ship yeah I could put two Yeah, it's just the shields is the problem. So you're probably better off just having one Gatling laser, having decent shields, and having combat computers. I can't fit an ECM jammer on. I don't think I need it against the Alkari. This might be, I mean, one to four damage isn't a, isn't a great deal, especially if they're using shields. Let me just have a look what they've got on their on their ships. That one just had shield class zero, but that's the only thing we've actually scanned. What we need is a ship with a battle computer on. 
which means a large ship. I, I just don't think I'm, I'm willing to sp put the spending into that yet. We do need to, yeah, they might attack us though. They're, they're asking for a non-aggression pact. And I don't know how, I, I, I don't know how they're going to be affected by that. We have got trade with them, however. I don't, want any, I don't want any more trade treaty with them yet because the other one's not had time to get going. Uh, if you, we can actually check that if you're if you if you're unsure. If you go here, look trade profit, and it'll tell you that where you know each time that you've had trade profit, and it actually tells you the exact effect it has on the relations meter here as well. Look, like here for example, we got twenty three billion credits, so we got 0 0.3 effect on the meter. Twenty five gives us 0 0.5. 26 gives us 0 0.8. It increases. So the longer you're friends with people, the more effect it has. The Mass of Orion is just so neat in that respect. It's so simple, but so neat. Okay, uh, these ones want to... Yeah, these want to go up to uh, Norpin now. We are really going to start pumping some technology out. Now, I don't want to... I, I want to equalise those again. Control Baron's almost here. Battle Computer Mark II. Yeah, that's definitely worth, worth rushing. Uh, I'm just going to leave it, actually. I'll just leave it. It will only be a few turns. But once we've got Battle Computer Mark II, we've got a better chance of being able to sh to actually shoot the Alkari ships down. Um, let's just I'm just gonna have a quick look at the at the manual, but just for, well, here we are. Look, so they're going to be uh, Defender Level Three, and we're going to be on Attack Level Two. So it's going to be sixty. That's going to be a, a minimum of sixty percent uh, to hit. Well, so let me think about that. Yeah, we need to get sixty or six, six or more on a D10 basically to be able to hit them. So it's it's still you're still an uphill battle, especially if they outnumber you. But Battle Computer Mark II will at least help. Um, okay, that's assuming they don't have shields. And I think this colony ship's almost here. There's Control Baron. And deuterium fuel cells, so that we can move further now. Okay, next planetology. We've got improved terraforming, always good. Controlled inferno, yeah, we said we're going to skip that, didn't we? Yeah, and go for toxic. Now we can save ourselves time just going uh, for, straight for t improved terraforming plus 30. It's not going to come out for a while though. Um, and honestly, in that time, I could go for uh, control toxic. Let me just see what the relative. Let me just go back to my uh, table here. Uh, planetology. Here we go. So, control toxic landing is going to be tier three. So that's the highest we can go is control toxic. But that will give us some decent things. Look, we, we're going to get um, sublight drive, which makes us faster. Uh, we will have neutron blasters. Hang on, where are we? Yeah, mass drivers are decent because they help you get through shields. Uh, Mercury missiles are a good missile. Scatterpack uh, V will help your missile bases and your ships. I always like neutron pellet gun as well um, because again they they ignore some of the enemy shields and they they can they're small enough to fit on fighters as well. Um, let's go with I'm going to go with improved terraforming I think because it will free up more money. Oh, it's such a choice. Okay, I'm going to go with improved terraforming I think. Inertial stabilizer is great. It gives us plus two defense and plus one combat speed. That's just it's such a great tech. But I think here nuclear engines is going to be our first stop because it gives us uh, enables us to move at warp two. And we're already covering quite a lot of range. Look, I mean, it's t it took that that colony ship quite a long time. It was like five years or five turns. It was yeah five light years. Look to get uh, between Gagarin and Scarlos. Okay, I'm gonna have to end this episode in a minute, guys. And yeah, let's build this new colony. <laughs> Look at the, I love the graphics on this game. It's so cool. The artwork's brilliant, man. Okay, uh, Skalos. Uh, before I do anything else, I'm going to send some transports out from Norpin, just so I don't forget to do that. And I'll probably send a few from from Troyes as well. Let's just send ten from there. 
and then Norpin wants to immediately just build go back into growth because we've got 60 population we can currently control 120 factories max so um oh no it's factories we want oh no it isn't because we're gonna go down to 30 aren't we so yeah let's let's go for growth let's go for growth Ah, also, in, in taking Skalos now, look, we've actually opened up more of the galaxy. I mean, we're, 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 we've ta we're, we're, we're in range of a large amount of the galaxy now. And that, that was also because we've got some extra range on our ships. So we can start sending out some scouts now to some of these other planets. We've also met someone else. Who's this? We've got two different colored ships here, purple and pink. So let's send, um, let's send some fighters over to Nagala. Because this is the next place that we want to we we want to colonize. Actually, I might just quickly build one more colony ship with Gagarin and just quickly get Nagala. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this all before I finish the game as well, because otherwise I will forget. Um, I don't want any defense in here. Okay, yeah, we've still not seen who these guys are yet. They've they've not shown that we need to send some ships over and kind of get into contact with them. Guys, I'm going to end the episode there because we've hit about thirty five minutes. So, um, I hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, all comments are welcome. So, if you if there's anything that you want to talk about, anything that I'm doing that you think's wrong, or you've got any advice, because I'm not an expert at this game by any stretch of the imagination. So, please. Any advice is more than welcome, and just let me know how you how you're enjoying the series, and if this is more of the sort of if this is content that you would like to see more of. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll, I'll catch you next time.